squash. 50 tried and true recipe by Julia Rutland. So, kind of small book and um, like the other two books that I have as of me like recording this and like um, putting this up, the other two that I did had like over a hundred. Um, this one, um, only 50 and the um, instructions don't really go past the one page that um, they're on. So, and like other um, cookbooks, it's divided up into different sections. So like breads and breakfast, uh, salad slides, small bites, soups and stews, main dishes and pasta, and desserts. So it goes like into like summer and winter squashes. So like um, there's like four summer and then like um, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve winter um, squashes and like planting and growing them, the basics of like cooking them, and then goes into the um, categories. So we got like pumpkin bread, um, pumpkin waffles, zucchini bites and planks, like, um, with the exception of like a few things, um, depending on how much you cook, a lot of the ingredients you could find in your own home. Um, so, um, apple cider vinegar or white vinegar, um, kosher salt or other non-iodized salt. So like, unless you like cook often, you might not have, have like those or like, um, crushed red pepper flakes, mustard seeds, um, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, again, depending on how much, like, you cook, um, and use of spices. So, that's what I'm, um, that's what you'll see in, like, in this book, a lot of their, you are using some sort of, um, seasoning. Yeah, um, some, you'll have like the basic salt and pepper, but also maybe one or two more um, added to it. Um, butternut squash and quinoa salad. Um, yeah, this one will, um, the only kind of like spice is like salt. A winter squash and onion tart. So each one has a photo next to it. Um, squash and onion casserole. Um, acorn squash with walnuts and cranberries. Um, summer squash and corn chowder. Uh, turkey and winter squash pot pie and it always tells you how many servings it makes so and like basic kind of um, Recipe style that we're used to um, So again the um, text size is where everything is on that page, but it's easy to read. It does look like it's um about twelve. So, um, and they all seem easy enough to do. It doesn't seem like anything's like overly complicated, but um, but that's just me kind of um not testing any of these out <laughs> yet. Um. Just 
uh, again, I haven't tried any of these recipes. It's just um, something to show you if you are interested in wanting to use different types of squash um, in your recipe rotation. So, um, or if you're just looking for ideas, but yeah, squash. Happy readings.